Hello everybody and welcome to I Scrap Happy Video. Um, I'd like to share with you guys another one of my minis and this mini is actually about me. So I did a mini for myself and I added a ton of ribbons on the, on the binding. Um, I also added a Tim Holtz swivel clasp and I found this um, in the jewelry section at Michael's and it says one of a kind and I really thought that was cute. Um, I'm actually going to speed through this video because there's a ton of stuff in this album. It's super huge. Um, so I'm going to try to go through it as quickly as possible. If you have any questions about any of the things that I've used, any of the Cricut cartridges, etc., um, please feel free to leave a comment and I'll respond to you. Um, I use a ton of bling in this album because I am such a girl. I love sparkly, I love pink, and I love purple. So I hope you enjoy. And I added a ton of a ton of tags. So I have so many photos that I want to put in there of myself. Um, so that's that. And there's an acetate pocket here. I didn't add anything to that. Here's another acetate pocket and a tag here and. This I cut with the Fabulous Finds Cricut cartridge, and it just opens up like so. I got some ink here, but <laughs> that will be covered up by a photo. Um, that's that. Acetate pocket, a ton of bling, almost on every page in this album. More bling, and take a look at that butterfly. I love that. Um, then I added... This folds out like this. And I cut this with the Plantin School Book um, font cartridge. And this says, Follow Your Heart. And over here, you have a little. It's held down by a ribbon that has like butterflies on there, and they're pink and purple. So pretty. And bling on the side. And then let me quickly go through this. I embossed that right there. Room for photo. Room for photo. Room for photos. Ton of photos. Room for photos. Just a lot of room for photos. Um, I love this pocket chipboard pocket that I added. A lot of petaloo flowers too. And this beautiful butterfly I cut with the Gypsy Wanderings um, cart. And this tag I cut with the Fabulous Finds cartridge and it has a ton of like compartments for journaling or photos. And I added some bling to that. This I also cut with the Fabulous Finds cartridge and I just cut this out for journaling. I stamped some journaling lines on there. This, actually there's room here. You can add a photo behind here. This actually opens up. I embossed the end of that and added some photo mats for photos love that paper, love the butterfly, and more room for journaling. And this pocket I made with the same um, ribbon with the butterflies on there, I love that. Little envelope for journaling, or a mini photo, love that. And this opens up like so. I'm actually going to have to speed it up a little bit. And love this. These three little things one says mom, one says sister, and the other says wife. And this just opens up for either photo or journaling. 
Love that. Little butterfly with the bling. Had a photo behind there. And I saw someone else do this in their video and I thought it was really cool so I decided to add it to my album. It's a little tri pocket thing. It's like room for three pot three tags. I love that. Love that great big crystal. Shiny. I love this um chipboard frame. Beautiful. Again I cut this with the Fabulous Finds cartridge. Love that paper. This just slips out from behind there. Ooh. Another one of those three circle tags. Love that flower. Photo can go behind here. And then this folds up, and there's bling, this folds down, a big cream of flower here, more room for photos, and it just closes like that, and this page, I actually added a acetate pocket, and then I glued down this lace paper by, um, I believe it's KI Memories, and I added some tags behind there. love this pocket and then I added some stickles to it. I love the way this turned out. It's so pretty. It's shiny. And then I added this little pocket here and I added a mini file folder with room for photos and I love this. And coming up on our last page I added a huge envelope pocket thanks to Marion at a piece of craft .com. She has a tutorial on how to do that. Um, added some tags. Just a ton of tags for photos and journaling. A ton. And more of that big brad. And I added these little hearts here and they dangle. Love that. And then that's the back of the album. I hope you guys like it. Again, if you have any questions on anything I used in the album, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.